this story comes from Wales. There was an elderly woman who was taken to the wrong, like she was in the hospital and she gets cleared to go home. Okay. So apparently there they have the ambulance takes you home instead of like having family pick you up, which I think is kind of weird. They want to charge you more. Well, yeah. They're not charging, I don't think, for this ride because they took her to the wrong house and tucked her into someone else's bed. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> What? What the hell? They tuck you in bed too? What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. So, um, this is the my fam- bad. Yeah, like the family was at her house waiting for her to come home, <laughs> and they're like, "Where's th- grandma?" They're like, "It's like two hours late. Like she hasn't shown up." So they're like calling and like trying to get a hold of like the hospital and what? stuff, and they're like. Yeah, grandma's been delivered. Like, <laughs> you know. yeah, their tracking number came through. Your right. grandma's been delivered. So. What they seem to think happened was another woman who has dementia was being uh, sent home the same day, and they think, like, the details got mixed up, and they sent her to that house. What? So the only thing I can think of is because this other lady has, you know, like, ongoing medical problems, maybe it wasn't a family member that was there. Maybe it was, like, a nurse that or a caregiver who answered the door and was just like, yeah, I'm here to get some old lady who's coming home. Uh, yeah, Here's an old lady. Oh, wow. I'll tuck her in. You know, else. like, that's what I'm thinking. Right. Like, there must have been, like, some other it's nurse or something be. there <laughs> waiting for to accept, you know, to sign for grandma. But, yeah. I mean, all old they people look up, alike, so I get it. They ended up finding her and... <laughs> They took her back to the hospital just to check her out before they sent her home again to make sure nothing else got mixed up. Isn't you it like know? happened in The Simpsons or something? <laughs> or like they they adopted the wrong kid or something. It was Hans Molman instead of Bart. He's like, it's not our son. Like, what the hell? I love you guys. It's like, it's not our kid. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. Yeah. No, I don't even have any idea how the hell that would happen. Yeah, getting tucked into the wrong bed. That's just... the best part, man. Tucked in and everything. Like, how do you go the extra mile and fuck up that bad? Like, right. you know? You were just like, yeah, we pulled up to the curb. She started walking towards the door. We drove away. Oh, so stupid. It's like her old address or some shit. I don't, like, was it just some random freaking address right. was it <laughs> yeah it gotta was tied to her it was, ever well no it was the other lady who was also oh, getting okay. All right. yeah and her just a like, mix up the guy the the son of this woman said like that the mom's just too easy going and like too afraid to say things he's like she knew it wasn't the right place but she was like too quiet to just be like hey you guys are dropping me off at the wrong place i you thought know? this was right. like oh no, that's not cool a midpoint and right. like another ambulance. Yeah, is this a, is this a <laughs> layover? Like halfway house. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, that's why <laughs> that's I'm a loud that asshole. Means, right? <laughs> right. No, I'm, I'm a loud asshole for that reason. I don't want shit like that to ever happen to me. Yeah. I would rather complain and look like an idiot. Yeah. Be like, this is your house, Mr. Damon. You wouldn't Stupid want to spend ass. the night? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't trust people. I, if I was going uh-huh. into surgery, I'd be the guy who, like, the night before wrote on, like, that leg, like, surgery on this leg, you know, yeah. like, with the Sharpie or something. <laughs> 